Welcome one and all to the next episode of Let's Play Scalar, episode 11. This is Toad's Worth of Rocks, and, well, we're gonna continue with Atlas, or Altus. Altus? Huh. Wow, I've never really thought of that before. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos lately as we fly in on our dragon. Uh, you know, it's been the holidays and everything, Christmas, and by the way, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, I just got totally owned. What I meant to do was press Z to go into the camouflage mode, then you have to sneak past these claws, get to the other side, and jump on the vine. But as I was saying, Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, hope you guys have had a good Christmas, I did. Uh, well, I celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah or whatever, hope you had a good Hanukkah. Hanukkah's still going? I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, what do you guys get for Christmas? For my Christmas, I got pants. Oh, yes, pants. Socks. Gets better and better. But no, I got pants, socks, uh, what else? Oh, a TV. I originally got a 19-inch TV, but I had some leftover money, so I returned and got a 24-inch. It's for my bedroom. It's really cool. I love it. I'm recording that and I'm recording this on that now, so it's a lot easier to record and edit and everything now. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got a Mario bedspread. Yeah, it's kind of pathetic, I know, but my whole room's decorated in video game stuff, and I actually kind of like it. I hate to admit it. <laughs> uh, I got a game. Yes, I got a, I got two games. I got Guardian Signs for the DS. And I also got uh, Marvel vs. Donkey Kong Mini Man Mayhem. And man, I have to say, that is the best puzzle game for the Wii. I am so addicted to it. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't even want to pick it up because I love it so much. I mean, I'll go, I'll go to bed and then an hour later I'll still be on it. and I'm so tired but I don't want to go to bed. Then I have my TV, obviously, to keep me company, so that keeps me up even longer. <laughs> But yeah, it was a really good Christmas, and oh, I also got two movies, my probably my two favorite movies of all time. I got Despicable Me and Inception. And if any of you haven't seen Inception, I am deeply sorry for you because it is a great movie. If you don't understand stuff, if you don't comprehend stuff very quickly, I'm not trying to recommend it because you have to be thinking on your feet for that. <laughs> We're not thinking on your feet, but. You have to know what's going on at all times, or else you will be a little bit confused, I must say. And Despicable Me, obviously, it's just a regular DreamWorks movie. It's really funny, kind of cheesy, but it's supposed to be. Oh, and speaking of DreamWorks movies, have you guys seen Dawn of the Dinosaurs, the new Ice Age, or somewhat new? New as of May, so a year old new, if that's still new to you guys? Anyways, it's pretty good, I think. I think it's the best one. Most people thought the first one was... I didn't like it too much. First one, it, it wasn't as funny as I, as people thought it was. But maybe it's just me. So what are you guys doing for New Year's Eve? For New Year's Eve, we usually play board games all night. But we're kind of changing it up this year. Board games got kind of boring and we haven't really got any new ones for a long time. So we're going to go with Wii and movies this time. It's going to be pretty fun. We, I just got Wii Party. I haven't played it yet. I'm really looking forward to playing it, though, because I've heard really good things about it. And, yeah, I mean, I guess the Wii is just full of tons of Wii uh, party games. Oh, by the way, get owned again. Yeah, it'll be a little while before I actually pass this part, I remember. I was getting pretty angry at it. Yep. I don't even know how that happened. There we go again. I sat here for literally like two minutes I think trying to do it and every time somehow I was like too stupid to run into them. Maybe I get it this try. Will I do it? Will I? Oh, got past the first part. Next part's coming up. It's the moment of truth. The moment to get to the other side. Dun dun dun! Oh, blue. Ah. Oh. Epic fail. Is there really such thing as an epic fail, though? Isn't just a fail good enough? Like, you fail something, you've already failed it. Is there really a difference between epically failing something? If it's used that much? Yeah, I'm pretty sure epic fail could be used right here, though. There we go again. 
You know, I could really cut this out, but you guys really want to see my frustration. I can already tell. I'm getting in too much of a hurry. I did not even hit that guy. What the heck? Try it again. Man. Solid Peach right here. You guys played that game? Not Solid Peach, but, uh... What is it? Uh... Super Princess Peach, that's it. I've... I haven't really heard anything about it. I've looked for reviews and everything, but... There hasn't been anything on it, so... I was kinda wondering... Oh! Right there. If you change right when you're about to get hit by something, if you change transformations, you are invincible. For just that split second. I didn't really know that till that moment, then I was really amazed. Probably too amazed than I should have been. And for these, you don't have to use your charge bomb things. I wasn't thinking, and I used it anyways, which wasn't too great of an idea. But how do you guys like these new, uh, or this new audio setting that I have set up? Originally the audio was way too high and I didn't really know how to fix it until I started recording another, or I started like editing this music video thing, and then I finally noticed that I could change the volume a lot easier than I thought. I thought I'd have to go into the settings and everything, which wasn't the case. I have no idea how that didn't get me right there. I was clearly standing on the gray, but it took me forever to figure out that. It's pretty stupid because I should have known it already. But these, this audio, it was pretty bad. I could not hear anything that I was trying to say, so... You guys were saying, your voice is so great, which I don't really think it's great, but... I mean, yeah, I'm not... I don't think it's annoying, like... Some of you said other people's were, but... I didn't even think you could hear it, to be honest. I mean, I'm glad you could, but... Anyway. Now, for this next part, you have to be either suicidal or really sneaky. I was trying to be sneaky... And look at that, he doesn't even see me. I'm standing right in front of him. And, yeah. That was the suicidal part of that mission, I think. Alright, let's try this one more time. Oh, got scared. Now let's snipe them with our grenade bombs. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Never mind, let's not do that. Alright, so New Year's resolutions. Mine, I have to say, is to make more videos. I feel really bad because all you guys... I mean, heck, I've got... This doesn't really seem like a whole lot compared to a lot of other people, but... I've got like 10 subscribers in the past month, which... Is great. I wasn't expecting that at all. I don't know how it really came about, but... I'm glad I did, and I'm really thankful for you guys if you have been telling others about my channel, because... I'd love to see it grow, and I'm not here to make money or anything. I know that's what every commentator says, but... I just think it's really fun. Just talking to people, getting your thoughts out... Or not talking to people, talking to a computer that can't understand you and isn't interacting with you in any way, shape, or form. But it's still fun talking to you guys, like when you leave a comment. I really appreciate all the comments. It helps me know what I can do better. And it just, it's really helpful. I don't know how else to say it, and I'm really grateful for that. Alright, on this part, it's another solid. Solid Scaler mission. Solid Peach, Solid Scaler, Solid Snake. Any Anything you want to call it. It's a spy mission. I'll, no, it's not a spy mission. It's a uh, uh, solid mission. It's a sneaky mission. That's the word. And the mission's already over by the time I got done with saying that. But on, on that part, just jump up, hang on the ledge, wait for them to shoot, and after they shoot, jump up and hit them. Kind of like right here, except I'm not on a ledge. But these things can be really annoying, and... They can be really deadly. But always check your corners, guys. Like, if you think there's a dead end somewhere, you're gonna want to go to that dead end because dead ends aren't in video games for no reason. Well, I can think of a few terrible games that they're in there for no reason. But those games don't really matter. Those aren't the fun ones. The fun ones are this game. This game that has horrible controls, yet it's so fun to play. Well, it's fun when the game works, which isn't very often. But yeah, snipe this guy again with your grenade bombs. With Whoa. I just dropped a lot of frames right there. I don't know what happened. Did I? I don't know. Maybe I did. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We're still here. My computer's been kind of acting up lately. And it's really hard to record videos, so that's an also another reason why I haven't been putting up very much. Is that I dropped literally 500 frames. Which is terrible. That is so bad. And I'm thinking of getting Sony Vegas, well, I'm not really thinking about it, it's way too much to get, but I'd love to get Sony Vegas. What is it? I think last time I checked it was like 200 bucks. 
And I could just get a HD PVR for that, or for half that even. So it's not really worth it to me. Alright, so this planet is just a lot of sneaking around. There's not a whole lot of running and platforming and everything. It's just getting new game mechanics in, just like a lot of planets are in games. And the platforming, as I've said before, isn't the best. It can be very wobbly, maybe, I guess you'd say, because a lot of the platforms tip. And when you have wonky controls and tipping platforms, it doesn't work out too well. Oh, right here. Suicide field. It's like a big minefield. You cannot hit anything in this place or else it'll blow up. I did not know that. I could have sworn I was far enough away. Apparently I wasn't. It's alright. As long as you're uh, upgrading your health, though, it shouldn't matter too much. This game's all in all pretty easy. As long as you know what to do and you have good timing on these jump parts. Because these parts can be pretty hard. As you can see right there. And this part, it can be confusing. You have to jump over those plants or else they clamp shut on you. And you kind of have to see what's coming in advance, in advance, which I obviously didn't do. But keep jumping on these vines, switching vines, jumping over the... What are those things? Are those like fish that are on a big fishing pole that somehow got stuck halfway down the fishing pole? I have no idea. Anyways, this is about the end of the video. I'm trying to walk epically into the egg. That didn't work out, obviously. But we're going to dance around this egg, and as we dance, we are going to say, see you later. Tell your grandparents, your friends, your uncles, your aunts, your everyone else in between about my videos. Like them, or dislike them, whatever. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do whatever you think you need to do. I appreciate it. See you guys later.